Hi everyone and welcome to our Neato Analytics Studio webinar series. I'm Felicity and I'm here with Laura Brooks from Glue today. Good morning, Laura. Thanks Good so, much, morning. so much for being here. Thank you, I'm excited. <laughs> uh, so this is our third webinar in the Neato Analytics Studio series. Uh, and this week's topic is how to turn at-risk customers into active customers. Okay, let's uh, jump in. So who are we? Well, I'm Felicity. Uh, I'm the content marketing specialist here at Neato, meaning that I work on everything content, which is the blog, social media, email communications, uh, and of course, webinars. And as I mentioned, we're lucky enough to be joined by Laura from Glue today. Uh, and Glue.io is the underlying technology that we've baked into the Neato Analytics Studio platform. Glue are the very best in their field of e-commerce analytics and business intelligence software. Uh, and Laura's background is in product merchandising and development with an emphasis in the apparel industry. Laura, did you want to tell us a little bit more about your background? Sure, yeah. Um, it's kind of interesting how I got to be, um, you know, where I am now working in analytics, but my retail background is really what prompted me to join the team. Uh, we definitely work with a lot of fashion apparel accessory brands, um, but I, I definitely, that is my background. I've for, you know, over almost 10 years now, I've worked in the retail space or had something to do uh, with retail. And now I'm working with online retailers, which is exciting and helping those folks to glean insights, um, you know, from the actionable data that uh, is provided in the analytics. Um, that we um, offer. So it's really exciting. Awesome. I'm sure you'll be able to give a lot of uh, valuable insight today with your background in retail to all of our retailers. Thank you. Uh, so the agenda for today's webinar, um, firstly, we'll just give you a quick overview of Neato Analytics Studio. For those of you who don't know, um, then we'll be handing it over to Laura, who'll go through what are at-risk customers and the all-important metric lapse point. She'll do a, be doing a live demo of Neato Analytics Studio. We'll do some Q&A at the end, and then I'll tell you all about how to get started with Neato Analytics Studio. Okay, so Neato Analytics Studio. Let me paint a picture for you. You're a busy retailer, and while you understand the importance of data, there's just so much out there, and it's all dispersed through different platforms. It's in spreadsheets and different tools which means that it's really difficult to tap into it and get any real value out of it so that you can get an overall picture of your business. Neato Analytics Studio pulls all of these data sources together. So whether it's from your e-commerce platform, uh, your Google AdWords, might be your Facebook or email marketing data, Neato Analytics Studio delivers business intelligence to help you uncover and act on your store's most profitable products, customer segments and channels. So it's analytics, reporting, and automation that can help you make data-driven decisions that generate more revenue and drive profitability. So I've just told you what Neato Analytics Studio is, but I'm sure you actually want to see what it can do. Um, and so for that, I'll pass over to Laura, who will do a live demo, and we'll teach you how to turn at-risk customers into active customers. Uh, over to you, Laura. I will just um, pass the presenter status over to you and you're ready to go. Awesome. Thank you. Uh, well, the really cool thing with, um, you know, being able to integrate and activate your account, uh, when you go to connect your different data points, one really unique side of Glue is the customer um, segmentation. So, um, when you're looking and you activate again on the Neato Analytics side, you'll be able to integrate those different data points. Um, you'll get a unique lapse point. And what is lapse point? That is the window of time that you have um, to keep that customer um, not lost, basically. So um, when we talk about at risk, that's before they come lost, right? Um, and you don't want them to become lost. You want to keep them, um, you know, active customers. So if you just think of your customers in three different buckets, um, they're active, at risk, or lost, it will be color coded in your Neato analytics, really easily identified and easy to um, run campaigns to target those customers. 
um, in the settings, you'll be able to see your customized lapse point. Now here, I've actually changed it to 90 days. So maybe you wanna adjust that and control that to be a little bit different, but that is the point in time when a customer would be lapsed or quote unquote lost. So if I go over to my customers, so that's what we're talking about right now, right? Um, so look at how it is color coded, really easy to identify. Now, when you drill into these based on the different customer segments, you'll be able to see again, the active, the at risk, right? The at, at risk. If I click into that, so let's pretend I'm gonna click into that. Um, I set my status to be 20% within my lapse point, which was 90 days. So we would put last 72, right? The reason we do this is so that you can constantly have a refresh of your active at risk in this case or lost customers. Now I actually saved it to the reports tab just so I can give you an example. So your at risk customers, because we did the last 72 days, now we have a constant refresh of these at risk customers. Now they've become at risk because they're again 20% within the lost point of, um, or AKA lapse point, which is again, unique to each store. This will give you some really good insight into, um, for example, the time between purchases. Um, so when people are repeat purchasing, how long are they waiting? So it's gonna give you a really good um, pulse on kind of the natural rhythm of your customer's journey as they're going through. Now it's time-based, right? So time is important when we're marketing to our customers. So if I come back over here into my customer list, so we've got active, again, at risk or loss. So it's either green, yellow, or red. So really easy to signify um, where they are. Now, again, I, I'm sure you guys maybe covered this in previous um, webinars, but our global date picker, is going to make it super easy for you to isolate specific times, um, whether it's a custom period or again, the last X amount of days. Um, again, in this case, the lapse point is 90 days. Um, it's really easy once you learn your lapse point, if you wanna change it, you'll know this is my lapse point, 90 days, 72 days is 20% within that. Um, so it's very easy once you get your own unique lapse point so you can discover and, and again, keep those active customers active and, and not let them get in that at risk. Um, so a couple of ways that you can do that is reach out to those at risk customers and send them a targeted campaign, right? Um, a couple other things you can do is use the micro segmentation. So maybe you want to find customers that are their status is at risk. But maybe I wanna dig a little deeper because treating different customers differently is how you're going to actually convert them or get you know, that repeat purchase um, to get them back into the active status. So a few, few things that you can do is now look at things like what is their number of orders with me? Maybe I wanna see somebody that has purchased two or more, maybe three or more times. Maybe I wanna offer these people a special incentive, um, but this will be again, a way that you can take something that we've already given you out of the box with your at-risk customers. Now I can take that and further segment. Now there's a million different ways you could do this depending on the types of products you're selling. Um, you know, the time between those purchases. Again, that's why it's important that you have your unique lapse point and at risk point because every store is different, right? Um, so the rhythm's gonna be a little bit different. Um, so again, you can bring in all sorts of um, targeting customers uh, very specifically based on their purchase behavior are going to help you um, to, you know, get that repeat purchase. Now you could save these so you never have to build them again. So at risk customers, um, three times um, or more, you know, however you wanna save it. So once I save it, 
you know, again, this is the demo account, um, so it's um, not going to return anything. But these are just some ideas to get you thinking about ways that you can segment your customers. Now, as you do this, you'll also be able to see how they compare against one another um, with your live store, your custom segments, and all of the insights around them. So these will give you some good ways to, again, track them along in their journey. I'm also going to show you one more time how I got to that. So you'll be able to identify any custom that you built or if you go to at risk and I click on that and let's say I wanted to save it to a report, I can go one step further and save that to my reports tab. So if I if this were my at risk customers three times or more. So you can start to create custom segments and reports based on what you're trying to accomplish. Um, and of course, take action on those. Um, but the last 72 days, this will constantly refresh and I can even send it out. Um, and a recurring email either to the you know person in charge of maybe using that data to run those campaigns. Um, but those active at risk and lost, um, if you use the last 72 days, last 90 days, you know, X amount of days, you'll be able to constantly get a refresh of those customers falling off in the at risk category. So you can take action on them um, and get them back into the active status. The other place that you'll be able to find and kind of track the customers falling off is your future value tab beneath customers. So we've got frequency up there, but here is where you're going to be able to track. And I think it's a little bit a little bit easier to track visually. Okay, how many active do I have? It'll give you based on your historical data, um, projected data. So based on um, previous sales. So then you could see, okay, where am I in the pie chart with my active at risk and lost customers. So again, this at risk, you want to try to get your customers um, out of that um, and not let them fall off. Um, so getting a little more specific and, and those micro segments and taking advantage of the power of these segments, um, the custom segments will really help you. Um, another really great idea is as you're um, drilling into these segments, you're going to see the LTV of this customer base. Now, um, if you're wanting to take those at-risk customers, I'm gonna show you one more example. Let's do at-risk. Maybe I wanna see my higher LTV customers because I want to create a lookalike Facebook audience, and I want my highest LTV customers. Take your AOV, which some people have a, an idea of, you can find your AOV in the Neato Analytics Highlights page. I would recommend double, maybe even tripling your AOV. That's how you're gonna get really high LTV customers. So let's say, typically you only do about 50, you wanna do 100 or even 150 to try to get those really high LTV customers. Um, so this will be a really great way, sorry, if you're wanting to keep them active, you could keep this as active, um, but you can specify the status there, um, the average order of value, and maybe again, putting in the frequency of purchases. So if we look at lifetime value, which you guys discussed last time, you'll be able to get your higher LTV of your active customers by taking a greater amount of your normal average order value. So let's say we double it or you know triple it. And then I wanna get somebody that has purchased maybe two or three um, times or more from my store. So again, a micro segment. So this would be something that you could drill into that segment. Um, in this case, if you're wanting to keep them from go falling off into the at risk, we would specify that they are active. Um, not a required status, but you know, this is something that we're discussing. So this would be something you could um, also identify. You can have as many filters as you would like um, in your uh, rules that you set.
Okay. I think, um, did you want me to pass it back over to you? Well, we've got some, we've got some time for some Q&A now. And so we've got a question that's come through from um, Amanda Hughes. What happens if the at-risk customer becomes lost? What happens if the at-risk customer becomes lost? So, so again, when you're looking at your status, which is um, easily found here, um, also in future value, if the customer falls off into the from the at risk to the loss status, um, I would definitely take action. Usually, once they're lost um, in that window, that's usually more of like a win back campaign. So um, again, that's why I would definitely keep based on your unique lapse point a constant refresh of at-risk and lost customers. So that will constantly refresh every single day. You'll get a new batch, hopefully ones that had, you know, converted from the previous day, um, you know, purchased with you. Awesome. I, lo I love how the, the report refreshes um, automatically. I think that's, think that's really great and that you can email it out to uh, whoever needs to see it as well. I think that's going to be useful for a lot of people out there. Uh, let's see what else we've got here. Okay, I've got another question. Is there a way to see the types of products that the at-risk customers purchased? Yeah, there actually is. Um, that's a good question. So I know it's kind of crossing over into products. So one thing that you can do um, so let's actually, if you go into the segments, and this is true for any of these. So if you're trying to see, you know, um, different statuses like your VIP customers or your first time customers or what products are behind a repeat customer, you can actually see that, which is cool. Um, we've got a lot in here from the test uh, custom segments so okay so um, one thing you'll notice is it says zero but that's because we don't have any at risk at seven days right that's why I was like people to look at um, the global date picker so um, when you know your lapse point it's 20% within your lapse point so that would be again at the around the 72 day mark so then I would be able to see well, it might be because this is, sorry, because it's a demo account. If it were live data, usually when I'm showing things, it's a live account. <laughs> but basically, um, let's pretend that we're looking, oh, sorry, that's because I'm thinking, it's 7 p.m. for me. I am a little <laughs> bit out of it, sorry. You're it's excused. actually, so, we're in the at risk. This is a good question though, because I actually forgot to show this, so. Um, at risk. Now, when we show this, we're going to click into um, the at risk 20% within the lapse point. You'll see how many customers are there, um, the revenue that those customers generated, and the products that they purchased in order. So you'll be able to see them ranked. So same goes for all of those segments. So if you're wanting to see what keeps an active customer, you could go to those products that are keeping them active. So again, it's gonna rank those products in order. So this is again, a dummy count, but basically, you know, if you sold apparel or accessories, you'd say, oh wow, I wonder if there was something wrong with the clutch that people were purchasing or people, you know, re refunding it, which you can easily find in product um, insights. So, this is just a good way to see what drives that behavior behind it. So, Awesome. So lot, lots to see there. Uh, we've probably got time for one more question. Um, okay. So John has asked, where can I track how long my customers typically wait between repeat purchases? Between repeat. Okay, so actually, if you go into, I know you guys talked about lifetime value last time, but um, you actually can see in the lifetime, there's a lot of LTV data in the Neato Analytics. We give it to you on a product level, on a customer level, on the customer segment level, 
um, you know, and then overall. So this is good to see your overall. Um, but if you kind of scroll through the or toggle through these, these are great retention metrics to track. Um, but where you'll see that is actually your average time between purchases. So we'll, um, you'll be able to see it in number of days. Um, so yeah, you'll be able to see how you're trending with that. So again, these are great uh, retention metrics. Very good. All right, well that's, uh, that's probably all the time we have to answer your questions, um, but I can see Curtis and David are answering quite a few in there at the moment, so keep popping them into the chat box um, and the ones we don't get to, we'll email out um, to you afterwards. Just, um, and we'll pop them on our FAQ page for support. So I'll just pull my slides up here now. All right. So I really do hope that this has been insightful for everyone watching. If you're using Neato Analytics Studio already, I hope that you've got some tips that you can take away and um, help you get a better insight into your at-risk customers and active customers. Uh, if you're not using an Neato Analytics Studio already, here's how you can be. So currently Neato Analytics Studio uh, is only available as part of our Neato 360 plan. Um, which is our new fully featured plan that includes everything Neato has to offer. It's got Neato Ship, it's got Pick and Pack, uh, it's got advanced inventory and access to three free sales channels. So sales channel might be your e-commerce web store. Uh, you might like to sell on Amazon or on eBay um, or in-store with POS um, or trade shows or markets or something like that. Um, we're going to be popping up a link into your chat box right now. So if you wanna take a look at what the plan includes or if you're keen to upgrade, um, click on that link and check it out. Or otherwise you can just log into your Neato control panel um, and upgrade from there. If you're keen to test Neato Analytics Studio out first, take it for a bit of a test drive. Uh, you can access a demo in the control panel just where it says Neato Analytics Studio. We'll send out some um, instructions and some login details for how to use that one in the email afterwards. So keep your eyes peeled for that. And that is it for today. Thank you so much for joining me, everyone. And thank you to Laura for joining us as well. Really, really nice yeah, to have you here. No thank you so much for having, having me. <laughs> You're welcome anytime. <laughs> now, the webinar next week is uh, all about keeping track of your inventory and we'll again be joined by one of our lovely experts from Glue for that one. So we're looking at is your inventory costing you more money than it's worth? Um, you'll gain insights into your product movements, what to shift and when. And that's it from us. Thank you so, so much for joining us. Um, thanks, Laura, and we look forward to seeing you next time. Thank Bye. you. Bye.